bank of industry loans. Are they worth it? Time to make some hashtag good trouble. Back in April of this year, I shared a rant regarding my experience of applying for the Bank of Industries Creatives Loan. This got the attention of CBN and BOI, but lo and behold, one year later, we are still no further along on this matter, and so I would like to talk about it. The fact that these loans even exist is a fantastic step in the right direction. SMEs are what keep this country afloat, and the federal government should be doing more to support. Statistically, it has been shown that women are a lower risk for loans as we pay them back. The creative industry, thanks to Nollywood, has established itself as viable by its own blood, sweat and tears. And so it was about time it got some long overdue support. Then COVID lockdown showed the urgent need to depend less on importation and invest in self-sustainability in agriculture. Over the past few years, CBN and BOI have strategically put a focus on SMEs in regards to access to low interest loans and funding, particularly in areas such as women-owned business, creative industries, and agriculture. Now, this all sounds great on paper, right? Finally, entrepreneurs and small business can get access to much needed support and funds. But have you ever ordered something from the internet then when it came it arrives and looks nothing like what you ordered. Or when you give a picture of an outfit to a tailor and what they saw down this route. <laughs> well, it's the same situation here. What they say about the loan sounds great, but reality is a whole different ball game. Personally, in our process, we have met some very sweet people in BOI, and I agree there should be requirements and parameters that must be met. However, there are many hidden and unnecessary hurdles throughout the process, such as the system is antiquated. To apply for loans, you often have to use BOI's accredited intermediaries who are still working as per the 20th century and struggling with technology. Therefore, you are paying someone else to be able to apply for the loan, but you end up doing the work anyway. The issue of collateral. Most times, ability to access a loan depends on your ability to put up collateral because the bank is unable or unwilling to back loans. Look, I'm clearly not a banker or a finance person, but doesn't that defeat the purpose of being a bank? The process is also often robotic, a check of marks rather than thinking and reasoning when looking at individual applications and circumstance. This highlights a lack of reasoning and critical thinking in the process. Time factor. It takes literally forever to go through this process. How many businesses can survive the one year I've been going through this? Think of all the amazing entrepreneurs, products, ventures that were lost. The dreams and hopes of hard-working young people that were dashed as a result. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people and companies that have been able to access these loans, but they are few and far between. And with the law of probability, there is always an exception to every rule. So what hope is there for small business, for entrepreneurs in accessing loans here in Nigeria? Is it even worth trying or are we just wasting our time? Is there hope or like everything else in this country, do we go the road alone? I think I think <laughs> Toya that um, you literally took like you know you sh you put the light on one major issue that all the general conversations I'm talking about. So you said okay, let me pick it. You have been going around and talking about conversations. <laughs> oh, but let me give you one specific problem, and I. It's heart rendering, it's disheartening mm -hmm. to read this, to hear mm -hmm. this. And I can imagine the millions of people who want to do business and are facing hurdles and mm -hmm. obstacles like this. I personally tell people that I used to run from business and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I just used to think to myself that those people must have a heart of, a heart of steel, stone. They must be really hard hearted. And I do hope that, I mean, one year after mm -hmm. your rant and this coming up again, maybe this time around, mm -hmm. something will come out of this. Mm -hmm. But then, Looking at it again, technology, antiquated systems, and I, I, I'm just disheartened. It's, it's, I'm really listening. I was just like, why in this day and age 
in the 21st century with the way fintech is going mm -hmm. and we're having to deal with the hurdles being things like technology and the hurdles having intermediaries and middlemen and with the fact that i see a lot of advertising or things that boi puts out there packaging, and packaging mm -hmm. i was like really this is sad but then maybe we will be able to change this by having this crucial conversation mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well the laws are made for men and not made for the law mm. um I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever policy is being made, laws or policy, in this case policy, mm -hmm. BOI, CBN, it should be done to help lift up Nigerians out of the shackles of poverty mm -hmm. or underdevelopment. So whatever it is, the government and stakeholders should fasten the processes to mm -hmm. enhance entrepreneurial development. Let me give you an example because it is so people through this process, eh? yeah. The amount of messages I received, DMs from young people in their 20s who have a vision and yeah. a viable. Like, there's one lady in particular who contacted me and I wept for her. She started a chicken farm, okay. right? She put in 30 million naira of her own money. Okay. It's working, but she needs to build. She's applied for a 10 million naira BOI loan and it's a problem. She's like me, where she's like eight months, 10 months later and still nothing wow. she's shown that it's a viable business but she needs to build capacity why is it taking so long why is nobody getting back to her mm -hmm. in the meantime she's just trying to make it work and this is this is a business that will help local community and she's shown that she's invested her own money it's not about just collecting yeah. boi's money yeah, and, and you're winning the capacity, the capacity is there she just needs assistance and help and you know this is this country you put your own money into business Meanwhile, that's not the, the way it's meant to work. Yes, you put a little bit, but you don't 100% fund a new business. You get support from government, you get support from funds. Um, but unfortunately here, you put your savings into your business. So, yes, government has put them there. They will go through the process. Some might even take their time. In normal government institutions, of course, I haven't been to BOI, mm -hmm. so they wouldn't use that against me. I'm not speaking to BOI, I'm speaking to government. Yes. The, the structures that we are used to. There's a structure where someone travels and every document on the desk remains on the desk till mm -hmm. he or she comes back. Right. And the truth is, while all that is going on there, I'm very sure there are people in the BOI who are not happy with the system, who will do mm -hmm. anything, but they cannot speak too much because once you do that, then you're mm -hmm. seen to have interest in the loan that that client is coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so I can speak to that directly. Okay. Collateral. Yeah. Okay, so we put up the first collateral and a weird reason was given. I won't go into that, okay. but we have a son on the case who has responded to them. Mm. In the meantime, while this was going, I put a second collateral. I put a second collateral in the mm -hmm. meantime. Sent the pictures, sent the, the things. It was a inco it's an incomplete structure on okay. a land sent it in. took almost one month for them to respond and say, sorry, they don't take incomplete, incomplete yeah. buildings or land. But my dear, shouldn't you know that going in? Shouldn't that be on the frequently asked frequently, questions yeah. or things that you should know mm -hmm. even before when you're, mm -hmm. when you're in the stage of first even filling form so and applying? Form. Say that these are the requirements take. for yeah. collateral. Yeah. Instead, you wasted a month of my life. Mm. Just, yeah. you know, but, but, see, but, but, but yeah. the reasoning was given for was about maybe for a couple of weeks. One of the team was sick. Oh, so you see, so you see, back to what I'm saying. So, so I'm like, why would you even put back that in the email to me? Maybe on, on back to what I'm saying. Yes, so that, that's structure. The system built on one person. Exactly. I'm sure Joyce. I think that Joyce would have. Joyce seems to have a look on her face. She's here. She's here already. Go on, Joyce. I'll take it. I'll take it back from Eniton's advocacy about will you also fail? Don't mm. fail yourself. So, dear team member at Bank of Industry or any other Nigerian institution where you are, that the system is failing around you, will you also fail? Mm -hmm. Think about life after life for those of us who do believe in it. You will be asked what you did with your time on mm -hmm. earth. And you will give account for it. Mm -hmm. So your, your colleague has gone on a break because she's ill, he's ill. And you could take up the job and deliver. But you say, it's not my job. God will ask you what mm -hmm. you did. Oh, 
If you won't do it for the client, do it for your destiny. For goodness sake, do it for your own destiny. Add to empathy. Add to... Take yes, we, we know, all, Joyce, we know how you feel. No, we all feel that way right now. Yeah, we all know that right now. You know, yeah, right so, now. You know what's it's even annoying. critical? Your, your case is that you, you're processing the, the loan. You haven't got it yet. Now, on a very credible, another credible station like, like Plus TV, if someone was interviewed, and we're talking about this issue of loan, and the person said he knows somebody. I think the person is a thought leader like mm -hmm. uh, Joyce, and said he knows somebody who he mentored through the process. Mm -hmm did all the documentation and everything, the person actually got the loan approved. Mm -hmm. But months down the line, not the loan has not been dispensed. Oh, man. Wow. What does that mean? Somebody else has gone for the loan using that guy's document. Now, and that's where, and that's where Joyce, it really ties into what Joyce is saying. Because at the end of the day, the guy at the top knows that somebody has applied. He has signed. But... It is not going to that person. Mm -hmm. um, now, goodness. now you're entering kickback territory. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's so many complications yes, that right. we throw it back at the top, but the people in the system, the, our brothers, our sisters. Let's try. Ah, to you need to end this, be, unfortunately. Be Let's try to be stronger institutions, stronger mm. than individuals. That's the yeah. of all these things. That, that's it. That's mm. it. Mm. Bank of industry will be like it. Mm. Yeah. Why can't the bank of industry do their job? Without any influence of any other person. Oh, oh, well. Well, um, uh, with that, there's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of pause for thought. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. and I'm sorry to end in such a depressing <laughs> way. <laughs> But join us again next week on another edition of The Advocate. The advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time, on this station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Let's do it. Yes, we can. Hello, everybody. Let's do it.